It is another Light News Radio. Self-empowerment for the whole human being. The place where sick and tired is no longer of oneself. Featuring your host, Dr. Richard Jelisich, and co-host, Deirdre Layton. Together, they finish each other's sentences, laugh, and take you from feeling hopeless to overjoyed to rock your world. And now, here are your hosts, Dr. J and Deirdre. Welcome back to the Light News Radio Studios, where you will find the realms of self-empowerment. Light News Radio brings you spiritually conscious, awakened people who are walking their spiritual talk. I am Dr. J, your host, and my co-host, co-creative conscious collaborator, and mystical maiden of the universe is Deirdre Layton. We are coming to you live on iHeartRadio and Spreaker Radio, and our call-in number is also live. Together, we bring you Grounded Metaphysics, where the spiritual rubber hits the road, real-life teachings and applications that are relevant to you. Here you will find the safety way, as my teacher would say, a place where you can breathe the fresh air of spirituality while avoiding the hype and the fascination. We are all about helping you to empower your life through understanding your true spiritual nature. So come aboard our beam of light and enlighten your load as we travel the waves of knowledge and wisdom for the next half hour. And we have a great show for you today, everybody. It is about a recap of our recent yoga retreat in Nosara at the Blue Spirit Retreat Center, the Journey into Heart Consciousness Kundalini Yoga Retreat. And we have indeed enlightened our load because when Deirdre came back from Costa Rica, (laughs) the airlines have enlightened her load by not returning her luggage just yet. So what do you think, Dee? Uh, That's a sore topic. (laughs) Uh, I'm I'm glad to be home, um, and uh, and it was just it was such an amazing time, and I really wish that we could have Lisa on the show today to uh, to share some of the highlights and whatnot that we did in Costa Rica, but mm-hmm. uh, she's uh, she is traveling today herself, so you know you just can't do everything as uh, as planned and and just that's the way it is but uh we look forward to again having her on our show in a future date and uh what not so well, yeah but we yeah, just had a we, we, we just had a week it was called the journey into heart consciousness kundalini yoga retreat and it was hosted by lisa steels of a balanced practice.com with an s a balanced practice.com and uh, Cecile Kessler, they were both Kundalini yoga instructors. And of course, myself, I came to teach about the chakras, the Shashumna, the energy system, and what Kundalini is. And we just had a power packed week in this amazing place on the far west coast of Costa Rica, in a place called Nosara at the Blue Spirit Retreat Center, which is one of the top five yoga destinations on the planet. And I'll tell you, the way that that building is is uh, constructed, you know, the architecture and the layout and the administration and everything was just perfect. So for me, this was my second time doing this retreat. We did it the first time in December of 2015. And of course, this time now at the end of April, and of course, Deirdre, you were there, we experienced this thing called Humidity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, listeners, I'm I'm from Canada and when it gets to 23, 24 degrees and above that in Canada in Calgary where I'm at, we call that a scorcher. Like it it is Mm-hmm. really hot and and really warm it's very rarely that we are in eight the eighties fahrenheit um for a long period of time and so yeah. for myself, walking off an airplane in a country that was at eighty degrees Fahrenheit from the time I walked off the plane until the time I got back on the plane, it was it was a bit of challenge for me. I I mean I brought 
what I thought would be the right clothing and whatnot, but uh, it was very humid and it was mm-hmm. very warm. And thank goodness for air conditioning. So yeah, I have to say, <laughs> yeah, I have to say, but, you know, our, our room was air conditioned and it was nice because, you know, you just walked down to the beach and it was the end of the dry season. And of course, listeners, you should know something about our amazing Deirdre. If there is lightning and thunder, she is in her glory. And we had one night there towards the end of last week where there was an approaching storm with lightning passing a crisscross through the sky. And we got a tremendous downpour of rain with lots of lightning, lots of thunder. And so, you know, that kind of weather also kind of sets the pattern you know, you're in another place, you're in the tropics, you're in a place where the sun passes further north overhead, as it does not ever do in um, the U.S. or Canada, because we're too far north. So you have all of these factors, you know, this amazing weather, this humidity, this tropical zone. Costa Rica is in what's called a blue zone, where people reach higher, longer levels of longevity than other places on the planet. So we had this setting for... um kundalini yoga where we would get up in the morning and at 6 a.m we would be in this place called the nature suite which is a a building that's open to the elements on two sides so you'd have all of this fresh air but also you know for those of us that are new to this lots of humidity and lots of little critters that 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 just love well Deet, mosquitoes Deet things like that my best friend <laughs> but Deet we got, became we my were, best friend yes you know it was amazing to- it was amazing to be able to be woken every morning by the howler monkeys, which you thought were going to kill each other, and mm-hmm. uh, you know then proceed down at 6 a.m. for an hour and a half of of yoga, meditation, mm-hmm. and um, it it would that was just amazing. And and yeah. by the time you returned, they would have a lovely breakfast ready for us. And then we would go off and and do our own thing for the day. And one of the days uh, we actually were able to give back to the community. And if you go to our website, www.lightnews.org, there are um, some pictures that have been shared. Um, And we planted a tree and it, it was a certain time of mango tree. Um, that we planted and this tree was just absolutely amazing because it Mm -hmm. will now give fruit back so um, Mm -hmm. you know it's it's just really really it was just an amazing trip it was really great and every day we had an event so we would start off the day at 6 a.m. with an hour and a half of kundalini yoga going through each chakra one by one and uh, Lisa and Cecile would sometimes co-teach and sometimes it would be one than the other. And it was just a, a really delightful way to start off. And of course, you know, yoga is not always just getting into the posture and groaning and going, oh my God, my legs don't bend that way. You know, yoga is is whatever you can do. That That in itself is the yoga. So we had a lovely time and it was just um, something that, you need to experience for yourself. Um, it's very hard to, you know, do a radio program and say, oh, yeah, you know, we just had a wonderful time. It was really so great. But, you know, the reason for these journeys, and Dirty will tell you, is it's all about the spirituality of our being. It isn't just going and putting on your Lululemon yoga pants and uh, having your yoga mat and your, you know, all of the accoutrements. But the Blue Spirit Retreat Center was the perfect location for a retreat. And a retreat well, means you, you go away from society and you get into more of the spirituality. In this case, the Kundalini Yoga plus all the meditations and the flower readings we did as well. Yeah, it, it was it was lovely in the sense that, um, you know, that particular place is set up completely for the yoga enthusiast whether mm-hmm. whether or not it's kundalini yoga hatha yoga um you know what yeah. whatever your 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 belief is and, and your study mm-hmm. um and then what is what is another amazing part about it is that in the main 
lobby, which is like the cafeteria area and, and or restaurant area, there mm-hmm. are uh, a big, two huge boards, and they call it the wall. And what they like you to do is you go and you check and you see what your group is doing, but you also get to see what other groups are go- are doing at the same time. And mm-hmm. there's usually four groups present. And often uh, the groups will open and allow you to go and sit in or go and participate with them mm-hmm. on something that they're doing. And the one group that was there was doing a uh, training for a gong. And we had the opportunity to have a gong meditation on the one Mm -hmm. evening, which was, I believe that was the Wednesday evening after our radio show. And it was, it was just something that was, um, well, for me, it was out of this world because laying there in this beautiful room with, um, a 360 view of the land all around the resort. Right. right. It's the perched beach. on top of a on top of a little rise, so you have a 180 degree view of the Pacific Ocean. Three, I, I mean, it's like a five minute walk. 180 <laughs> would be really? ha- you'd be able to see up and down the coast half, but you couldn't see behind you because you know um, two of the four walls of the building. Our walls, right? Oh, but if you yes, but if you go out on the on the balcony, you can see the other yeah. the other side. So okay, yeah, it's amazing. Um, it yeah, and 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 they, there's uh, you know some towers which I uh, that are little rooms up on the top of the building that you can go to that are totally open to the elements, and that's where you found me for the thunderstorms because I mean that's that's my that's my thing, but it was. It was amazing because the group that came with us this year truly were a soul group. Um, there was, uh, and we had participants as young as thirteen and um, as old as me, and uh, so you know, <laughs> or me. <laughs> it, uh, it, it was a it was a nice variety and a real bonding for everyone to connect and to be a part of what was going on. And and Cecile and, and Lisa did it in such a way that they were able to um they were able to connect with everybody at the level that they were at. I mean, we had people there who had never heard of Kundalini before and you might had be never speaking practiced but I can't hear it. anything. And uh, and then after that, we had, uh, you know, many people that were doing all kinds of different acts and uh, yoga techniques. So, you know, it was it was really good. It was it was just a lovely, lovely time and uh, and trip that ex- it was experiential for anyone that participated. So it really made for a great um, a, a great time for all, and with the with the resort being right on the side of a uh, embankment, you were able to within ten minutes walk down through the forest and the, mm-hmm. the uh, and the groves and whatnot down to the beach, and the beach mm-hmm. is a turtle reserve, so. They really take pride in keeping it um, up to snuff, like really clean, and uh, it's just amazing. And, and the waters were just the tides were perfect. Of course, it was it was new moon when we were when we were there, mm-hmm. and so at one point the tide was way out. And I went down with a few of the retreat members and, and we wandered on the beach in the middle of the night, which it, it, it just it made for it made for a lovely, lovely group soul experience. It really did. Well, I'll tell you, it was an amazing experience just to go into that Pacific Ocean because the way it was laid out <clears throat> was very flat. So, you know, like I said, it's only a five minute walk from the retreat center down to the beach. And so you have this idyllic, paradisical setting anyway, 
And, um, you know, the way the, the way the water in the ocean is, there's not much wave. So you can walk out a couple hundred feet and still only be up to maybe mid thigh level. So there were no crashing thunderous waves. You had time to enjoy Plus the water was very warm, but not like bath water. Now, another thing you should know, because, you know, light news radio is about spirituality for at least 10 days before we made this journey to Costa Rica, I was meditating on what are called the nature spirits. These are the spirits of the earth, the spirits of nature, wind, the trees, the water, the ocean. They're the spirits behind the material matter that that make them what they are. And I was <clears throat> tuning into, you know, what what did they want? What what was the um the way that we could go and make our journey and just not walk into a building, do yoga and leave because the spiritual path is always about awakening to that deeper connection that you already have. But a lot of us just only listen on uh, maybe surface level. So how did we get into that? So when we started doing meditations, so we do yoga in the morning and then we maybe have a practice during the day. Then at night around 7 p.m., we would do a guided imagery meditation. And in several of those meditations, these nature spirits would come forth and they'd make themselves known to us. And we would tune into them and they to us. And it was a kind of a, a deep sense of gratitude. I would say a deep sense of gratitude that that Richard felt. Um, he's having a little bit of, uh, technical difficulties, but, uh, we just lost him. But I, I know that that sense of gratitude that, that, uh, that he felt because I know that I too felt that in, in just being there and being a part of everything that was happening. And the teachings were amazing in the sense that, um, Richard was able to tune I'm in back. to the tune in to the uh, Kundalini teachings, and so we were able to uh, talk about each one of the chakras and what each one of those chakras represented, and the questions and conversations that came up with that. Um, just it, it was really nice because again we had people there from various different levels of understanding, and so Richard, mm-hmm. I was just saying when you dropped off that um, you know the deep gratitude that you had, and and I also yeah. had that. But then, you know, your teachings those were just amazing. Like, if do you want to explain a little bit about what you what the teachings that you were doing and how you blended the your integrative chakra therapy and the kundalini practice? Well, yeah, because, you know, a lot of people that go and do kundalini yoga, um, they do the poses, they they get some of the philosophy, but they don't really know about what the chakras are, how they work, how they affect the the perception of reality. So um, I had a couple of lectures that I did while we were there to help explain what kundalini is. I mean, you know, my terrible jokes that I tell that kundalini was invented by a couple of Italian brothers called the Linguini brothers. But, you know, all jokes aside, you know, trying to form, format an understanding of what this is, is not just me giving a lecture like, you know, here is the academic intellectual understanding. It, it's a way to help the mind to understand what is happening when you're doing kundalini yoga practice. So yes, your reference to ICT is integrative chakra therapy, which is something I've been teaching for 18 years now, which, you know, for lack of a better description, it's spiritual healing, working at the level of the chakras, a little higher up than Reiki, actually. But anyway, the experience of kundalini yoga And then we would do some breathing exercises and I would explain, okay, here's the first chakra and here's what it means and here's how it works and here's what it does. Here's the second chakra. Its main intuitive ability is this and this is the effect it has on the person and here are the strengths and here are the weaknesses. So we went through all of the chakras so that our group could have a better understanding of what's going on when a person raises their kundalini. I mean, how many of you listeners have heard the word kundalini or how many of you have heard the term They raised the kundalini energy, but then that was it. Boom, all the information cut off, and you went, okay, they raised the kundalini. What's that? So Mm -hmm. in our discussions, in our discussions, 
we talked about what that is and how it works. And even, you know, sometimes I use phraseology that might be a little bit compounded, like there's a double compression expansion pulse waveform up and down the spine, and people go, what the heck? Well, yeah, what the (laughs) heck is that? (laughs) But but at the same time, um, you know, my function there was to help raise spiritual awareness of what's really going on. Even to the extent, Deirdre, that uh, I did a flower reading Wednesday afternoon, for uh, all of the participants, and it was to show that through faith, you can access the deepest levels of a person's strengths, weaknesses, what they came to do, what they came to learn, and we had a delightful fellow there who really didn't have a, so much a spiritual background, but he was such a pleasant and wonderful person that we kept teasing him because he had no idea what spirituality was or 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 a flower reading, even though his wife is taking the training. And so when he came to the flower reading, everyone agreed that I just nailed him because the idea of a flower reading is anonymity. person brings a flower, puts it on a table, and then I sit down afterwards and pick up the flower, but I don't know who I'm reading for, and that's what makes it so powerful. So in other words, it's to help teach that the spirituality behind the kundalini yoga is the reason for the yoga. And yes, the postures are helpful. They tone the body. They're good for the meridians, the digestion, all of that. But there's still a deeper thread that runs through that, which is the spirit of the human being, or what we like to call the whole human being, mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional states of being. And so as we start understanding the mind, body, spirit, by including what is the spirit, it helps make the practice of kundalini yoga much more filled out, much more rounded. I agree. I agree. And it, it really helps the individual to stay focused and to stay connected with their own energy and with their own um, process. And I, that was one thing that was very impressive to me was that no matter what I, I experienced, my experience was personal in, into myself and uh, being able to sit and talk with the instructors afterwards and, and ask the questions was, to me, very, very important part of the practice. But um, I want to take just a second and I want to um, just do a, a, a wee commercial because we have our conference, Awakening to Plant Consciousness, coming up June 23rd to 25th in Calgary, Alberta at the Renart School. And I just want to do a shout out that we have had some amazing sponsors come on board to help us with this conference. And one is Cappuccino King. And Cappuccino King is a Calgary-based company. And please do go check out their store, check out their website. Um, Again, it's Cappuccino King. And also... Yushwin Graphics, Sarah uh, helped us put together our brochure, and she is just amazing. If you're looking for someone to do your graphic work, um, you can get a hold of her. And so please do visit our website, www.lightnews.org to see uh, this brochure in its in its completion to register for the plant conference and uh, check out other things that we've got going on so absolutely absolutely that's our our um, promo and our next show for may 10th we'll have scott lowler And I'm Mm -hmm. really looking forward to having him back on uh, again. So, you know, with uh, all of the things that we've got going on, Richard, um, Mm -hmm. what would you like to add in sense of um, the, the final outcome of what you would say everyone went home with from our Kundalini Yoga retreat, Awakening to Heart Consciousness? I, I think community. You know, most people, you know, and I've been saying this for years, is most of us don't realize that we are connected on a higher level. You know, our mind thinks, okay, book a flight to Costa Rica, join this group, and then we meet people we call strangers. 
But, you know, I've been studying spirituality almost 30 years and practicing it esoterically as well as philosophically. And most of us don't realize <clears throat> that our spirit really is at work 24-7, always setting the conditions by which we meet the people we're going to meet. There's no coincidences. There's no chance occurrences. And so one of the things that we came away with from this uh, week-long retreat is community. You know, people that didn't know each other all of a sudden at the end of the week did you notice how well we all got along and how happy everybody was and how easy it was to laugh and to smile and to gather at the table, especially, you know, when we would go to the cafeteria with the wonderful fresh food that they would have there and we would all be in this kind of a zone. And so at the end, we had a fire ceremony on uh, Friday evening down on the beach and uh, we did a Mayan, I did a Mayan ceremony and uh, kind of walked us into a place of gratitude, welcomed the nature spirits. And then we all had a chance to share, right? And uh, one of the things, we sang a song called The Long Time Sun. And it's just a beautiful way of ending by saying, Sat Nam, you know, the truth of myself, the truth of yourself. Um, so I think the thing we came away with was this sense of community and how we can create this wherever we go, wherever we are, by holding this love and this peace in our hearts, it's real. It's not just a state of mind or any kind of a fake state like, oh, I'm in love. But no, our spiritual journeys are very, very real. They're very succinct. And so that's one of the things I thought is we just had this very strong sense of bonding, of love, and of community. We did. We had a, an amazing sense of community and connection <sighs> With everything that was there, um, from you know the the lovely saltwater pool to the um, the hummingbirds that would come in this mm -hmm. quiet little meditation spot that I found by a lovely koi pond, um, to the monkeys, of course, waking us up every morning, and the bats. Yeah that would fly around in the evening as we were sitting down to eat to, you know, just being able to do the in-breath and really take in everything that was there for us and mm -hmm. the out-breath of letting go of everything that wasn't important at that moment mm -hmm. in time. And I, that mm -hmm. to me was the most amazing part of the whole experience was being able to be connected to that in and out breath. So with that being said, you're heading off to San Jose, California on the, on the third and as we'll you are. Be, yeah. And you'll be there until Sunday the seventh. So if mm -hmm. anyone is looking to have a private session in person or to get a hold of uh, Richard while he's in San Jose, you can email me at info at lightnews.org or give me a shout at 877-242-5721. He will be back in San Jose for the 10th and 11th and then uh, San Diego all the way through until the 24th of May. Mm -hmm. And I just want to remind our listeners, for those in the San Diego area, if you are looking to come out and have some energy work done, please connect and come out on the first and third Monday of the month at the Tara Healing Center and uh, experience what Dr. Jelicic has been teaching for the past almost 20 years. First and third Monday, Tara Healing Center, San Diego. Second and fourth Monday at Families Matter in northeastern Calgary. Any questions, check us out on our website, lightnews.org, L-I-G-H-T-N-E-W-S dot O-R-G, or 877-242-5721. 877-242-5721. And as Deirdre and I will agree, it all goes way too fast, dear listeners. We love you very much, and we hope you enjoyed today's show. We hope you'll catch the wonderful interview we had with Chief Oz last Wednesday. All of this is uh, downloadable. It's all available on Spreaker, Bold Radio, on our website, lightnews.org. So we love you very much. 
We're very grateful for your presence, dear listeners. And thank you for listening to Light News Radio. I am your host, Dr. J, and my amazing co-host is Deirdre Layton. And as always, may the principles of harmlessness and compassion be the ever-present, ever-constant guide of your every intention, your every thought, and your every action. And so it is, and so it shall be, it is done. Stay attuned, everyone. Thank you for joining Light News Radio, where you are self-empowered for your whole being. Connect with us at www.lightnews.org.